all global eyes remain glued onto Uganda as preparations for non-aligned movement and G77 plus China summits remain on course. The latest breakthrough is by National Information Technology Authority Uganda, NITAU. The successful installation of the latest apparatus at Entebbe International Airport has attracted nothing less than gratitude from all stakeholders. We manage the borders, both the physical and also the virtual. Today, before people uh, start their journeys, there is need to know who they are. We don't have to do the control when they reach here, but actually if it's possible, we'd rather keep the bad guys the other side. Without uh collaboration with the airport, none of this would have been possible. Uh, I would also give special thanks for NITAU. We have worked within one month. You, you build the virtual network, we build the physical network. And today I've seen how we can actually integrate these two networks to allow connection of our people. The latest technology being referred to here is Wi-Fi 6, which is confirmed to be faster than all the previous versions. Dr. Hatweb Mugasa is the executive director, NITA Uganda. We are focused on guaranteeing a secure and efficient communication network infrastructure, process automation, robust cybersecurity measures, seamless communication channels, and efficient data management. This holistic approach is paramount in facilitating the success and security of this significant event or events. To acquaint himself with what is being talked about, here is Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, Uganda's Minister for Information, Communication Technology and National Guidance. He has been guided through all terminals of the airport, including ordinary VIP and VVIP sections. After the successful trek and braving the rain, the minister is impressed. Our intention has been to provide a high speed and efficient Wi-Fi internet here at the airport better than what we find in many of the airports outside. And I can confidently say, I am one of those who travel frequently, that the service here is now much better than what we see in many airports. It took one month to have this technology successfully installed to simplify communication during the NAM summit. But what happens after the summits, does this end with NAM? Yes, we have fixed these services, but they're not going to go away with the, with the summits or the delegates. The services shall remain here. Uh, people have been having those comments. Why are you fixing the roads, the network, when the visitors are coming? But we also know traditionally when you want to receive visitors, you sweep the compound. <laughs> mind this, uh, put in mind that this is uh, infrastructure that's going to last for more than, uh, for about seven to ten years. So it's not a one-off, it is infrastructure that's going to be permanent and utilized by the government of Uganda. So that's, that cost is going to be spread over a couple of years. Minister Barrio Munsi also says resources have been secured to extend similar services across the country. We have been laying what we call the national backbone infrastructure, the optical fiber. We've covered now maybe roughly 50 to 60 percent of the country with the fiber. But now we've acquired resources which will enable us to extend to the rest of the country. As the tour ended, part of which was at the Entebbe Express Highway. It was obvious that Uganda was ready for the two summits in terms of information and communication technology. 
Henry Okrut, UBC.